What's up guys, this is Matt Watson coming to you from the camper van that he called Mo. And this past week, I installed the most important piece of furniture in any camper van, the bed. Not only that, but I was fortunate enough to be able to do this with my dad. And you gotta check out this ingenious setup that we came up with. Um, this entire thing has eight compartments underneath it that are perfect to put any type of storage, um, assuming that it's quite thin. Um, and not only that, but each of these compartments are completely breathable. We did this with eight two by fours and a few three inch screws. And the entire thing probably costs us no more than a hundred bucks. All you gotta do now is sit back, relax, and let me show you how we did it. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? So to be able to construct such a beautiful bed under such a small budget, Facebook Marketplace was a big key in this puzzle. Love Facebook Marketplace. Always been a fan of uh, garage sales. We have to get up so early for those. Um, Facebook Marketplace, you can, it's open 24-7. You can do it anytime. You can buy your futon mattress without putting on pants. It's my kind of way to shop. Because a van is a unique shape, we didn't want to build the bed on the outside, bring it in and realize that we could have saved a little bit of space here or there. So we built the entire thing um, in the inside, kind of like a ship in a bottle. That way it fit to the contour of the van perfectly. Um, the pegboard that's running underneath the bottom of this bed uh, was originally bought for my dad to hang his tools off of in the garage. But uh, after trying it, he realized that every time he removed a tool, um, the hook that was holding the tool up would also fall, rendering the entire thing completely frustrating. So I said, hey, Dad, can I use that uh, board for uh, underneath the bed? And he said, sure, go for it. I'm like, perfect. So at first I was just using this pegboard because it was free. But then people started pointing out that it was ingenious to use it underneath because that lets the entire bed breathe. So from here on out, uh, that will be the reason that I give as to why I used that particular material. I realized as we were putting this in that my jack for the van is nicely positioned right here. Uh, but with the way I put it in the floorboards, um, it wouldn't come out. So during this process, we had to take two steps back to when I put the floor in, unscrew this entire panel, and then make it now so um, when, uh, when you unscrew this bad boy, like this. <laughs> It now comes out. So learn from my mistakes and know how your jack works before you start building around it, locking it to the van, rendering it completely useless. So the material that's being used on the top of the bed is roughly the same thickness as the pegboard underneath, minus all of the holes. Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, well Matt, what's, what's, well, what about all that talk about uh, how breathable the bed needs to be? You know, you look like a guy that uh, is quite gassy and I'm sure whoever's hanging out with you would really appreciate there was some ventilation going on in this thing. And I'd say to you, yeah, I would have liked to use pegboard, but I ran out. So thanks to Facebook Marketplace, I was able to find um, another material that is equivalent, just doesn't have the holes. And you know what? Now that I have the mattress on top of this thing and I've laid on it, I'm happy that's what I use because um, it feels solid. You know, it feels solid, secure, and uh, it's gonna make for a good night's sleep. So we wanted a way to easily access these compartments, but with the way the board landed, it made it a little bit difficult to grip. So my dad came up with this great idea to drill a hole underneath the board and then sand it out roughly the size of uh, my, chubby, <laughs> my chubby thumb. Um, so each of the compartments lift up easily. Also underneath each one of the boards um, are some pieces of wood that uh, perfectly shape the compartment so that the boards don't wiggle around whenever you're driving. The moment of truth came when we slid this mattress in and found out that it fit perfectly to the size of the van. I was so hoping that I'd be able to lay completely sideways in order to save myself a little bit of space um, with the length of the van. And I can fit absolutely perfectly, uh, short of the air vent popping that corner up a little bit. We pre-drilled holes for each and every one of the screws so they would sit completely flush with the entirety of the bed. I could not be happier, man. This bed has so much going for it. It's solid. It doesn't move around. The price was right. It's got eight compartments within it that I can fit storage. And on top of all that, I got to build it with my dad. Come on, Hey guys, as always, by watching this video, you're already supporting me. So thank you so much for doing that. 
You want to go a little bit extra? Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tell a friend, check this guy out. He is a comic that is out of work, and he's built in a van. Um, next week, I believe my dad and I are going to be working on the uh, cabinet that is going to house uh, my fridge, my sink, and uh, my batteries. So tune in next week to see how all that goes. Thank you for watching.